This is one of Disney's finest hotels. It's the Grand Floridian Beach Resort. Hi, I'm Tim Klein. I work in marketing at Walt Disney Attractions. And my job is to use television to promote this, this, and especially this. When I first entered the company back in 1990, the job was pretty traditional. It was to promote Walt Disney World to selected markets around the country using vacation giveaways. That was easy, but for me, there were no. So I conferred with my boss. I wanted to produce and host original programming that showcased our parks and resorts and then syndicate the specials all over the country. Now the typical approach for Disney would have been to buy the time. Call 1407 W Disney and make the dream come true. Instead, I gave local programmers what they wanted, entertaining shows with the Disney magic. But for free, commitments came pouring in. The shows were hits. Disney's exposure was tremendous. 20 magical years, journey into magic. And the last one, the making of the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, aired in over 250 markets, the Disney Channel and Telemundo. We were on a roll. From the Walt Disney World Resort near Orlando, Florida, it's Walt Disney World, 20 magical years. Hi everybody, I'm Tim Klein. This show is about those dreams and making you a part of them. Get set, you're invited to the kickoff party to the biggest year ever in the history of Walt Disney World. Hi, I'm Tim Klein and welcome to the Magic Kingdom. During this next hour, join us as we celebrate the magic of the Walt Disney World Resort. Picture, if you will, a group of ordinary high school kids. They're out for a night of fun at the Disney MGM Studios. Little do they know, they're about to be thrust into the darkest corners of their imaginations. But beware, once those doors close, there's no escape except through the fifth dimension. MGM Studios, Walt Disney World, Florida, the making of the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. These groundbreaking specials led to three more syndicated shows that I worked on with Walt Disney Television. Today, we'll see the highways and cars of tomorrow, the shape of computers to come, surprising homes of the future, revolutionary robots, plus Peter Gabriel on technology and human rights, and a trip through the world's state-of-the-art virtual reality. This is Epcot, Journey to Discovery. Planet Earth has always been a laboratory for alien life forms which can drop in from space or slowly mutate into bizarre, fleshy organisms at our feet. Understanding the nature of these strange creatures from above and below is the greatest challenge of our age. Hi there. Hey, you ladies headed for Lauderdale? No way. They told us. Uh-uh. We're going to Walt Disney World. Blizzard Beach! While these specials were a great new way to get exposure, 
Walt Disney attractions could not live by syndicated programming alone. We had to continue building on programming that provided exposure on the networks and the Disney Channel. My job was to help shape that content and to help produce some of the most entertaining programs to ever come out of Walt Disney World. The Walt Disney Company presents the fourth annual American Teacher Award. Disney's Nancy Kerrigan special, Dreams on Ice, with special guest stars Scott Hamilton and starring Ekaterina Gordieva and Sergey Grinkov. Welcome to Discover Magazine's Technology Awards. Once again, Penn and Teller. This is the Intervention Showcase. With me is my fabulous co-host, J.D. Roth, and the champ, Mr. George Foreman. Welcome to the all-new Inside Out. Some exciting stuff, but it doesn't end there. Just as important to us as creating our own shows is convincing other network and syndicated shows to come here. This is the Disney MGM Studios at Walt Disney World near Orlando, Florida, where the sights and sounds of Hollywood have been recreated and then condensed into a few blocks. And we invite you to come and join us for the biggest party of the year on New Year's Rockin' Eve here on ABC. From the Disney MGM Studios at the Walt Disney World Resort near Orlando, Florida, and live from Times Square, it's Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve, 1995. Oksana Bayo getting ready to perform. Last month, the 16-year-old from Odessa in the Ukraine fulfilled a fantasy. She spent some time at Disney World. Well, that's how I've been able to make a difference right here at Walt Disney Attractions. Now, before Disney, on the local TV level, I did many of the same things, but I just didn't have these guys with me. Startled and he jumped. The they were frightened by demons. I do believe that. I've had an experience, and I do believe that. Nobody thought yeah, it was haunted. I'm Tim Klein, and this is America's Most Haunted. So who is Abigail? And why does she haunt the chart house? In the 19th century, the restaurant was known as Pettibone's Tavern. Some believe Abby lived here as the wife of one of the owner's sons. As the story goes, Abigail was having an affair. Pia Magazine provided a great foundation for hosting and producing. It was a great ride. I'm at the Wimler Farm. Welcome. I'm Deborah Kent. And I'm Tim Klein. Thanks for joining us tonight on PM Magazine and Willkommen in Deutschland. Excuse me. Well, tonight on this very special PM, we are off to Germany. Now, if your images of Germany are those taken from Cabaret or World War II, then you are in for a surprise. Tonight, Richard Hart is our guide, and he'll offer his insights into a country that has come back from the ashes of war. I'm going to put myself on a limb right now and do my impression of the cowardly lion, okay? Now, don't look at me, because I can okay. embarrass if I were king of the forest. <laughs> That's very good. Put him up, put him up. <laughs> and it just boggles the mind to think of all the different ways that human beings invent to work out. And then there is high voltage. Not exactly human, she claims. Now, she's a combination between Jane Fonda and Cindy Lauper, who was out to zap you with her high energy. We've got comedians backed up worse than traffic on 91, so let's get to it, shall we? Our next guest is a gentleman who is a national headliner. He's open for Whitney Houston and Cool in the Gang. Would you please welcome Mr. Earl Reed? Well, that's a brief look at my career. Now I'm ready for new challenges. In the meantime, I think I hear my boss calling. You know, it's so weird working for a mouse who wears yellow shoes. 